Jeff Brozovich here from LongRangeOnly.com, where we do long range right. Today we're going to review a piece of gear that I just can't be without. It's my phone scope adapter for my smartphone. This allows me to take video or pictures through my spotting scope of game or wildlife, you know, whatever I maybe want to do. And I also use this to spot my long range shots and make video so I can go back and review them and log that data if need be. So let's go take a look and see how it works. Okay, so what comes with your phone scope kit is a nice case for your, for your uh, smartphone. I use this all the time. I put it on here. I took it out of an otter box, put it in this, and I've, I've used it this way ever since. And once you get that installed on your phone, the next piece you'll have is your little adapter bracket here, which you just simply snap that onto your phone. It's that easy. And then you need your eyepiece ring that, that is made to fit whichever spot and scope you have, just like, you know, your, your adapter here. It's made for whatever phone you have. And uh, anyway, so you just put this ring on. It's got a little quarter turn lock, and there it is. That's, that's how easy it is to set that up. From there, I screw my eyepiece down on my spotting scope. I'm using a TS-82 Night 4 scope here. And I, uh, you just sliply, slip that right on, simply right over the ring like that. Turn your phone on, turn on your uh, camera, align things just a little bit by sliding around. I like to zoom in just a little so everything doesn't look like it's coming through a little hole in a ring. And from there, you're ready to go. The other thing that's, that's ready, or that's nice here, is uh, this little Bluetooth shutter. By the use of this, it Bluetooths up with my phone, and if I want to take a nice picture, I can just push the button and trigger the camera from here without ever having to touch it and wiggle it if it's on a tripod that's maybe not real stable. Well, that's really handy. The other place that's handy is when I'm shooting long range, I can get this all set up on my target and have this next to my rifle, and when I'm ready to take the shot, I click the button, put it down, make my shot, and that allows it to just record the part I want. And all the setup part is not on there. You know, you don't, don't need all that. And you'll have a shorter clip, and, and you can turn it off when you're done, and you're ready to go. So... Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go out here and uh, take a look at some things we do. First off, we'll, uh, we'll go out here, and I know where some mule deer are at. We'll get set up. We'll take a picture of some mule deer. I'll be able to show you those. And I'll also, after that, I'll show you some video. I'll include some video and a picture I took of the mule deer buck I took while hunting this year when I was filming him before I decided he was the one I wanted. Okay, so we're out here in the field. We got some mule deer down here about 800 yards below us. I've got the spot and scope roughed in on them. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is with my phone scope to take some pictures of these mule deer. I've already got my case on my phone. I snap it into the adapter. It's got the ring on it. I screw my eyepiece all the way down. Put it in phone mode, or in camera mode, I should say. I already am seeing the mule deer. And what I did right there, I just zoomed my phone in just a little bit to take that, that ring out that you see sometimes. Looks pretty focused. And to get a nice still picture, I used my Bluetooth button. And there it is took the picture. Now I'll put this up so you can see what we just did. Okay, so after I'm done, if I'm going to be out for a while and I think I might be wanting to take some more pictures in a little while, here's what I'll do just to speed things up even more. After I pull my phone off of there, I'll remove the little eyepiece adapter. I'll leave the rest of the bracket on the phone. That way I can use my phone and all its functions. It fits in my pocket. And I don't, I don't have to worry about putting the adapter back on. All I got to do when I get ready to take another picture is set up my spot and scope, screw on the adapter, slip her on, and we're ready to go.
Okay, so that's my process for taking some wildlife photography or maybe scouting or checking out a few bucks or bulls that I want to keep data of. I'll have recorded video, know where they were. You know, it's pretty handy to have when it comes hunting season. But I also told you about the long range shot. Let's go down here to my range. I got a target painted on a rock up here. We can get a hair over a mile away from it and I'll show you how I use it to spot shots and record data on my come ups and everything by using the phone scope to actually record and document where my hits were and give me a record of them. So let's go sling some lead. So that's how I use my phone scope adapter. It's a very valuable piece, like I said before, if you don't have one, you may want to be checking it out because I know I'm not going to be without one. So uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out and like us on Facebook. Come over to longrangeonly.com and sign up, become a member and join in the fun there. A lot of good guys there, a lot of good long range stuff going on. So until I see you again, Jeff Brozovich, good shooting to you.